and uh, most of the film, uh, filmmakers have given them in support in the travel plans. There is yet another big event for the DCP, but apart from this one, have you played the event for this Um, this is this is uh, this is the event that kicks off the year for FDCP and uh, uh, gathering talaga siya ng lahat, talaga uh, dito nagne-network, dito inuumpisahan ng taon. Uh, for this year, syempre, we're still celebrating the 100 years of Philippine cinema. So meron tayong mga um, mga events uh, from the different film festivals. So Sinag Manila has their own 100 years uh, celebration, um, Q Cinema and uh, uh, Cinemalaya. So nakakatuwa because uh, andyan kami to support. Hindi lang kami yung gumagawa ng events, but uh, uh, other um, institutions are also giving their share of how they want to pay tribute and uh, recognition. In the commemoration of the world. Shelly, so you don't have a vacation? Supposedly, by this time, you'll have a vacation. Oh, you don't have a vacation? I don't know. You don't have a vacation. There are a lot of new activities for this year. There's a calendar. There's a workshop for FDCP. There's a calendar. 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 How many years to go? Three years to go. And dami pang kailangan gawin. And sa ngayon, ngayon pa lang nag-uumpisa yung policies na talagang, mas, talagang magbibigay ng support at struktura sa ating industriya. So, for me, um, uh, alam ko naman na after this, diba, para I can look back and say, I did, we, FDCP did everything that it could, especially during the time that I'm there, to make sure na um, pagbalik ko ulit sa, sa, sa private life, um, Uh, may nagbago, uh, nagas mas naging progresibo na ngayon ng industriya at makakabalik ka na alam mo, tama na yung sistema na pinapalo. Isa sa malaking achievement yung, 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 sign, yung ceremonial signing ng memorandum circular yes. with Dole na nakasupport si Leo Martinez, dating Director <laughs> General of the Makali of the Philippines. Yes, um, this is not something that I just lobbied for. Eh. This has come even before me. So, ang sarap lang na sila mismo naging sobrang emotional kasi hindi nila alam na mangyayari or magmatutupad ko. So, ang sarap ng feeling na eto na siya, abot kamay na namin, implementation na yung susunod naming um, uh, aatupagin. Pero ngayon, andyan, may standards, may guidelines tayo. And I'm so happy that even the networks, even the producers are willing to sit down with me to understand how can they comply. So, yun yung ano, compliance na talaga siya. Since this was initiated by yung film ambassadors, like, may nakita ba kayong impact sa industry or... <coughs> Siguro in terms of impact, mas maraming na-inspire na mag-compete in different film festivals. Alam mo, before, uh, sino usual suspects yung mga nakikita natin in film festivals, La Villas, Brilliante Mendoza, I mean, they are amazing and they really represent Philippine cinema. But we have so many other filmmakers that are also really um, uh, uh, really telling their narratives dito sa atin at hindi nabibigyan ng chance sa ibang bansa. So, um, dito mo, so kung padami ng padami sumasali sa ibang bansa, nakikita nila there is a path to international. Mas lukas na sila ngayon, hindi lang sila gumagawa ng pelikula para sa local audience natin. So, I think this is what Film Ambassadors Night can do kasi it aspires, it inspires. Ilan ba talaga yung honoris to that? Six, 69, kasi may nadagdag kami uh -oh, tatlo. Because na. meron pala tayong, hindi, um, uh, we have three awards this year for um, Uh, Blood Hunters of Monsieur de Rosario. Uh, Nanalo siya sa isang um, uh, very, very, uh, very big New York um, martial arts action film festival. And they won three awards. Buti na lang. Kasi syempre, minsan hindi naman namin nakikin uh, rock and roll. So, yun. Uh, na nagdagdagan na ako. Miss Lisa, um, last year, kung masasabi mo is, I think, I spoke na parang you take a break for the end of 30 days to focus on your family. It's there. We've been talking about it. We've been talking about it. We've been planning this baby for the longest time. So, I hope it's going to be more than 40. So, that's the critical year for me. But again, the 100 years of Philippine cinema only happens once. And a lot of partnerships and collaborations happen because everybody wants to jump on the supporting the 100 years. So I want to really just strike while the iron is hot. Parang pag sinasabi mo yung word na, 
100 years of Philippines hindi mo na po. Parang biglang nakakakuha ka talaga ng mas maraming support. So, I really want to maximize it. And uh, after September, usap tayo. <laughs> Please be very understanding naman po. So, uh, so uh, I don't think I'll be able to do what I do for FTC. You know, kung wala talaga yung support niya. Kasi, syempre nakakagilip ko talaga yung wala yung family. Wala. Medyo take me back sa lately. <laughs> But they're here. My husband is there doing his share, labor of love, pro bono. Kakanta niya naman. Libre ng kanta, libre ng direct, libre oh. lahat para lang sumuporta sa akin. So, para sabi niya, ito na yung excuse ko para lang makasama kayo. Oh. So, oh. <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, so thank you for all this being here. Chair. Uh, yeah. Ayan na. Ay, dati ko dito. Dati ko dito. Dati ko dito. Salvador. You know, this year, last year, 2019, talagang acting awards ang talagang sobrang uh, nakilala tayo. Eddie Garcia, Tony Mabesa. We had a best and some uh, acting in uh, New York. So, kasi normally, pag nasa International Film Festival, pelikula lang yan sa director. Ang bida. Pero ngayon, talagang bumida pati ang mga artista natin. Talagang eto na, pang world class na. Pero for sure, darating yung mga artist ito mga artista, pero how do you feel kapag hindi dumating yung mga artista um, na iba para uh, tanggapin ang kanilang award? You know, uh, in fairness to them, they really text me in person. Siguro, to know that they appreciate nila that we're doing this, kung hindi sila makakalating para share, pasensya na, talagang grabe yung schedule nila. O kaya, there's a similar event happening to me uh, for Star Magic. So, um, I understand, uh, I just, ako for me naman, dumating sa Lord, hindi, kami to eh. Hindi yeah, ka disappoint. Uh, siyempre, para sa kanila yun eh. Oo, so, siyempre, ano naman, siyempre, ano, um, ako, not really disappointed, but hoping, hoping lang lagi, very optimistic pa rin ako, na sana they continue, they, they come. Chair, congratulations to sa Dawn, uh -oh. MOA, at saka din sa mga audiovisual workers. Thank you. This is it. Ito na talaga. Panalo ang workers sa laban na ito. So, um, sana talaga makita ng producers natin yung value na kailangan na natin ibigay. Uh, kasi makatakong working conditions na naman ang hinihingi natin. And um, uh, it's been 100 years na they've been, you know, intentionally or unintentionally subjected to substandard conditions. Uh, Lisa, na i-coordinate na ba ng mga producers? Yes, um, the OLE has, co has conducted uh, many, many tripartite negotiations at talagang dun naka naging medyo uh, maikting ang mga pag-uusap. Mm -hmm. So, matagal na pala ito. Mm -hmm. Matagal in the mm -hmm. years na. Mm -hmm. okay. medyo, medyo controversial lang kasi yung may mga ano, conditions like yung overtime pay. Medyo uh, sa palagay mo, mga iba tato pa rin ito. Medyo talagang realistic ito uh, sa industriya natin. First, we have to define like who is covered in the labor standards. Yun ang laging question eh. 
Um, kasi, uh, uh, as explained to us by Dole, pagdating sa mga talents or artists natin yung malalaki na, um, they're considered as talents. So, not necessarily covered sila doon sa minimum working hours na yun, tsaka yung uh, overtime pay. Kasi nakapakete, nakapackage rate sila, di ba? Nakakontra na sila. So, um, with that, merong uh, stipulations uh, in their uh, in their contracts na covered sila ng work hours, pero hindi sila covered ng overtime. Ang, co ang covered sa overtime ay yung mga technical crew, mga extras, those na talagang empleyado, Ito production ba, staff. Uh, okay. Minimum of 8 hours. Beyond 8 hours, kailangan na sila mabigyan ng overtime pay na um, an, uh, uh, an hour and one fourth. Meaning, bakit audio base mo ba? Well, right now kasi, masyadong malaki yung industry. Actually, ito nga, audio visual production. Di ba? Wala pa yung, wala pa yung exhibitors, wala pa yung ano. Kasi nga, uh, gusto muna natin, ang daming nuances, di ba, ng bawat sector. So, ito muna parang mas encompassing siya at mas uh, mas mas uh, mas na nararapat para sa kanila tong ginagawa na. Wala ka ba nakakalabaw mo? Sure. Yung mga nag-text na sa akin, pero hindi ako kinakalaban more like, Lisa, kinakabahan kami. Gusto namin, we, we know that your heart is in the right place, pero um, baka mamatay yung hindi ko. Hindi si Sri. Sabi ko, upo tayo. Sabi ko, siyempre, importante sa amin, may standards mo niya. Now, how do we get to that standard? How can we come up with transitionary measures to make sure na hindi rin nabibigla ang buong industry. Pero, importante kasi meron muna tayong standards bago tayo gumawa ng exceptions. Kasi kung, mag, kung tayo yung magtatrabaho based on exceptions, hindi talaga tayo makakarating kung sa dapat na standard para sa akin. Ito ang live note kasi January na, di ba? Oh. <laughs> Sabi mo, December, di ba? So, January na, pero kapag ganito at marami pang susunod, paano natin ang planong pagkakaroon ng baby? Sabi ko nga kay Ina, kausapin niyo ko after September. September na lang Kasi September is the closing of the 100 days. So I feel like, I just, parang gusto ko rin kasi i-look forward to. Ayoko na parang dumaan lang siya, tapos nahanak lang ako. Ay ayoko yung parang, I really want to relish being a mom. Kasi it's been 12 years, or 11 years. So sabi ko kay Ice, ayoko naman na bastang i-plano lang natin na mabuti sa ko. Tapos parang naglalakad-lakad ako dyan, parang, wala lang siya sa akin, di ba? Yung parang I'm doing my thing. So, he's very understanding and um, he's here. <laughs> he's uh, oh, performing. Talagang, just ko po, talagang ang laki na ng utang namin sa kanya. Dahil talagang, Pro bono ba ito? Always! My God! Zero! <laughs> Abonado pa siya kasi pag nagpapameeting siya, siya nagbabaya. <laughs> Para ka ba ba? Pinagluluto ka na lang sa nang gusto? Oo, oh, pinagluluto ka na lang yung mga, yung mga staff na sumasama doon sa mga baby. Nagbigay ng ganito klaseng, um, hindi po kami Latina, pero hindi lang po ako ito. People before me, from the time of Lino Broca, even before, they have been aspiring and clamoring for this change. So, sana po, um, Hindi lang po ito maging batas, hindi lang po ito maging pabesiya. Marami na po mga direktor, marami na po mga iniigulo natin sa industriya ng ito ang, ang namatay, ang, ang nawala. Dahil hindi po natin ito binibigyan ng pagpapahalaga. So, I know, and I'm sorry, I didn't really grab from this video something that will become like a plea, but I want to take this opportunity to just really ask everyone, naniniwala po ako at ang bottom of it, uh, na sa kaibuturan po na yung mga puso gusto niyo po maging mahayos ang industriya natin. Wala lang po tayong sistema. Wala lang po tayong standards. Pero ngayon, nandito na po siya. So, sana po, ito na po. The next hundred years of Philippine cinema is going to be about this. Taking care of our workers, taking care of this, taking care of this industry, making sure that we can look forward to a more sustainable industry in the future. This is our gift. This is what the next hundred years of Philippine cinema is going to be about. And I hope that we can all join together para kung pagtulungan po natin ng mas progresibo, mas maganda, mas sustainable po na industriya, masayang industriya po para po sa atin lahat. Maraming maraming salamat.